Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and we're out on a beautiful New Hampshire day, unseasonably warm. I want to talk to you about some boots that I got from Hisia. The first ones I want to tell you about are these, which are the deck boots. And you might look at those and be like, dude, those are really beat up. They are really beat up, but I just got a brand new pair. That's how much I like them. So these are the deck boots. This is kind of like sort of a Cryptek pattern there. You can see it says Hisia there. So full rubber on the top, full rubber on the bottom. Um, they've got the neoprene around the edge there. They do say that they're going to be breathable. I would say they have some breathability, but they're rubber boots. So they're going to keep a lot of warmth in. Um, I didn't find the bottom of my foot got so sweaty, but the top of my foot does get warm if you wear them all day long. I love these boots though. So again, I like them so much. I got another pair. So um, they have the little step there for when you're taking them off or put up, taking them off, which is great because this is often a weak point. I had a pair of muck boots i think they were mucks yeah that eventually these rip this part ripped here because it just wasn't made that solid so more companies are becoming aware this is a weak point so they're strengthening strengthening it up you've got the front and the back pull tab i'll show you inside you can take out the insole if you want to do that just pop it out you can see that comes out pretty easy um, these are definitely not a boot for hiking or you know intense backpacking or anything like this relatively smooth it's going to give you a little bit of grip but I used my old ones for, you know, just like taking the dog out, even working around the yard sometimes if I wasn't super muddy, but it was a little bit damp. These, I like this color. I mean, I could wear these around, you know, on a rainy day. And you could probably see like there's a little bit of snow there in the background. We're in a, the season, we all, we're moving toward the season we call mud season in New Hampshire, where it's like, it's snowy, then it's rainy, and then it melts, and then it freezes, and it's there's just a lot of moisture around on the ground. So having a pair of boots like this is awesome. These run about 64 bucks on the Hissy website. And I've got links down below if you want to check them out. Um, these come in a wide variety of colors. They actually originally sent me the wrong color. So I had to message them back and say, that's not the color I wanted. So they sent me a replacement pair. So these come in a wide variety of colors and super comfortable. They've been durable. I haven't had any issues uh, with a style of boot before. It's not like they, they're wearing and like, you know, the sole is becoming detached. So these I would say are a wear around boot to keep your wear around shoe to keep your um, feet dry when it is wet out, but you don't need to wear a full fledged like up over the calf type of boot. So definitely like these thumbs up. I'll probably just keep, keep getting these year after year because they've been such a win for me. So these are the deck boots from Hisia. All right, next up we have these, which are the adjustable calf rubber hunting boots. Bit of a more aggressive um, sole there. Again, they have the nice step there to uh, put your, your foot on when you're taking them taking the boots off. They come in three different camo patterns. I believe these are called the Camo Evo. And a couple of things that I really like about this. So first of all, got the rubber that goes up quite high up the back and then also you got neoprene here so they're going to keep the moisture out obviously they're also adjustable which is great when you're putting on um, these boots and you've got maybe a thicker pair of jeans you got a pair of car hearts maybe you got some some overalls or something you can have them be wider and then when you put them on you crank this down Let's see if i can do a camera yeah crank this down lock in the little latch there click put it in the little holder there and you're, you're good to go like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm actually wearing a larger version of this boot um, and I'll roll in some footage right now, but these other ones that I'm wearing, I've had for probably a year and a half, two years, maybe even longer. And they probably, yeah, probably three years now. And they have been great boots. So these ones are gonna run you around 85 bucks. They've held up really nicely. Now I'm gonna talk about a pair of boots that my wife got in a minute. Now, one of the things you'll notice is because they're all rubber, this section right here, when you first get them, this can be a little tight right here at this kind of joint area. But um, as you wear them more, my wife wore them and she was like, oh, it's kind of uncomfortable. Maybe after two or three times wearing it, it loosened up. But, you know, if you have this as a weak point and it's really soft and super comfortable the first time, it's probably not gonna be as good a boot. So this is just an area to be aware of. The first couple of times you wear it, it may feel a little bit tight but eventually it's gonna, it's gonna soften up and be great. So solid pair of boots. Um, I basically got these cause the ones I'm wearing are, they're going strong, but uh, eventually they're gonna wear out and now I can swap over to these guys. So again, around 85 bucks and we've got three different camo styles for these ones. Okay, these are the last ones. These are the mid-calf barn boots and they do come again in a variety of 
uh, colors. You can see got a little bit of mud on them, a little bit dirty on the bottom. My wife's been wearing these around. These are, again, kind of like a mud weather boot or a mud season boot for her. So um, she wears these out when it's muddy, when it's rainy, when it's snowing. Um, they're going to run you around 55 bucks. And again, very similar to the hunting boots, uh, neoprene, a little bit more stylish than the hunting boot maybe, right? So neoprene, and then you've got your rubber boot. This is the spot right here that felt a little bit tight when she first got them, but then they broke in after a couple times. It was even better. Um, they talk about more traction, less mud here. So you can see definitely traction here, but um, it's kind of a bunch of tiny little uh, points and then more traction around the edge there. She hasn't had any issues as far as slipping or I don't find them to be particularly muddy um, or, you know, collecting mud, whatever it might be. But here's the other one real quick. Here's what the pair looks like, running around 55 bucks. And the reason I'm telling you guys about this company is that I've worked with them for a bunch of years now and the products I got have been good. The customer service has been good. Um, I find that you can spend this amount of money and get, you know, this amount of money and get this level of boot or spend this amount of money and get something maybe a little bit less than something those of those really high end ones, but they're still a really good boot. So check them out. I got links down below uh, for the Hesia boots, these ones and some other ones as well. If you got questions, you can certainly message me or message them, Hesia, H-I-S-E-A, and um, ask away. I'm here to help if I can uh, give you any more insight about these boots, but these have been go-to boots for me for the winter and the mud season for, I would say, three to four years now. So. Thumbs up from Everyday Tactical Vids. A little bit more budget friendly. So check them out. And um, yeah, thanks for checking out the video.